this is a series on c4 embedded systems subscribe to the channel and check out the full playlist in this video let's look at strings in c a string constant is a sequence of characters or symbols between a pair of double quotes so anything between a pair of double quotes is interpreted by the compiler as a string it's including any special characters and embedded spaces in that so every time you have displayed a message using printf function so you have to find a message as a string constant so let's see this with an example here we have a file called string.c so in that we're just printing a few things so let's compile this gcc string.c then let's execute this so here you can see that this is a string and then next line in the line number six we're printing this is on two lines so here you can see that this is on the two lines so in between you have a new line character and then print for this is a backward slash you write backward slash so you have backward slash and then you have this um, uh, double quotes that means uh, here you can see that the double quotes is kind of uh, not passed it, it passed as a character so if you remove this what happens is you the, the compiler assumes that as you are closing the string here so that's why we put a backward slash and with one more backward slash you basically with, with two backward slash you basically parse the uh, one more backward slash that's how it is so i hope it's clear so that means you and we put a special characters or spaces everything in between these two quotes double quotes is a string so well that's about string and how the value is basically stored in memory so you can see that this is a string and this is stored in memory like this uh, each character is stored in a separate memory location including the spaces here this is the spaces and one thing you need to observe here is that at the end of the string you have a character called it's a null terminating character so this is also true for the other lines the other strings so a special character with the code value zero is added to end of each string to mark where it ends so this character is known as a null character and you can write it as a backward slash and zero. This is the null character. So a string is always terminated by null character. So the length of a string is always one greater than the number of characters in the string. So that's that's the thing. Okay, so now we have uh, we'll see how do you store the strings so you will have to store the strings in a variable so c has no specific provision within a syntax for variables that store strings so like you store integers you have a data type for floating values you have double so such things a float you have a data type but for a store string you don't have any data type in C. So because there are no string variable types, there are no special operations in the language for processing the string. So in C, we use an array of character to hold the string. So this is a very important thing. So in C, we use an array of type character to hold the strings. So we can declare array like this, chr and then a string name and then the size of the string of 
course this has to be one more than the actual string that you want to store because you'll have to terminate this a string of characters or the, the, the array of characters with a null character at the end so the declaration is character then you have string name and then the size plus one i would say this is the this is how we uh, declare the string or the array of characters in c so this variable can accommodate a string that contains up to nine characters i mean this one because you must allow one element for the termination character so this is the termination character so of course you could use this array to store 20 characters that are not a string so if the termination termination character is not there the c will not interpret as a c, a c compiler will not interpret as a, a c as a string well so once you declare you will have to initialize the string so how do you do it it is as simple as uh, doing initializing the variables here strings can be initialized or the array of uh, characters is initialized like let's say in this example character saying here in the within the square brackets you don't mention the number of arrays number of mm, characters and you just give the string with double quotes the compiler will automatically take care of the uh, calculated the size of the array array of characters so here you have not explicitly defined the array dimension here value the compiler will assign a value to the dimension that is sufficient to accommodate the initializing string constant so this is a string constant right in this case it will be 18 which is 17 elements of the characters in the string plus an extra element for the terminating character you can initialize just a part of the array the element of type char with a string for example something like this where the str can store up to 40 characters but you we give uh, only one two three four and five The compiler will initialize the first five elements str0 and S to str4 with the characters of the string constant and str5 will contain the null character of course space is allocated for all the 40 elements of the array and they are all available to use in any way you want so initializing a character array and declaring it as a constant is a good way of handling standard messages but this is something important because let's say you have a message that you want to print and that message you don't want to modify in that way you can declare the variable as a constant so here your character or your message is an array of characters and it's constant because you declare a message as a constant, it is protected from being modified explicitly within the program. So within your code, you basically do not modify the message. So then how do you access a string variable? So when you want to refer to the string stored in an array, you just use the array name by itself. So for instance, to output the string stored in a message, using the printf function so just do like printf then within the quotes you give uh, the new line the message is and you have a percentile s specification the format specifier to basically uh, read or display the message so the, the percentage s specifier is used for outputting the null terminated string 
So let's see this things with an example to find length of a string. So let's see this example. So you are so you have a, a file length a string underscore length let's see. Let's compile this. GCC string length string length dot c and then let's execute it and then see so you can see that the length of string that means the here is the string to find length is 31 characters so what we've done is we have declared and initialized a variable called str the array of characters and then we initialized but so here is a string to find length and then what we're doing is we just count incre increment the count till we reach the termination character so that is how we just basically iterate over this string characters and then find out that uh, we, we compare the last null dependent character and then we keep counting it so, and then we print the length of the string you can see that percentile s that basically uh, puts this str argument into this format specifier and then percentage d as you know it's for the integer and then you read the count or, or display the count so I hope this is clear. So, well, this is the first uh, video on strings. So in, in further videos, we will see a little more about strings. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more projects, courses, tutorials, and tools.